Carolina Panthers quarterback Bryce Young has now played in two regular season NFL games, and unfortunately he was one of two rookie quarterbacks to miss week three due to injury, with the other being Colts quarterback Anthony Richardson. Through two weeks of play, Young and Richardson have looked to be on opposite trajectories, with Young having the slower start between the two. In week two, he played against one of the better defenses in the NFL, so I wanted to get into the tape and see the context behind this slow start. On this first one, the Saints defense does a really nice job of taking away what the Panthers are trying to do. Bryce is forced to operate outside of the structure of the offense, which is something that he typically fares really well in. Unfortunately, on this one, I really think we had an opportunity to get a completion if we continued to work towards his near sideline. When Young escapes the pocket, I think we could get this ball to Terrace Marshall along the near sideline if he keeps working downhill towards Marshall. It's a short gain, yeah, I get it, but it's a completion and it could possibly get us into field goal range. As we see, Marshall ends up working himself open, but Young is already pivoting, working back towards center field. Young ends up dropping, falling back, and tries to deliver this ball downfield on 2nd and 15. I think Young was getting a little too aggressive here on this one and wanted all 15 yards on one play, where I would have rather seen him try to get the ball to his Marshall in that near sideline to make it more of a third and manageable situation. The next play that we're going to look at is actually the very next play in the game. Thielen's going to convert his route into more of a stop route, being that he reads the coverage of zone. He does a really good job of attacking the corner's backside at the stem of his route and sitting down over the middle of the field between zones, and Bryce Young finds him over the middle and gives the Panthers an opportunity to kick a field goal here on 3rd and 15. On this one, I think Thielen and Bryce just aren't on the same page, as it looks like Bryce is throwing his ball upfield as if Thielen were to continue on his route. How I see this, and I could be wrong, it's just me trying to make sense of this, but what I see is that Thielen's running a short post for his man with the option to sit for zone, and that's what we see here. Bryce and Thielen aren't on the same page here, but it ends up working out anyway. Moving on to this next play, I want to show what Bryce Young has done and continues to do very well, and that's throwing the ball with anticipation. Thielen's going to be running this out route, and after a head fake inside, watch when Bryce Young gets into his throwing motion. Thielen hasn't even entered the stem of his route yet. This is what elite level anticipation throwing looks like. Looking at this play out, we see the ball placement is not exactly where Young probably wanted this, and I'm sure he'd be the first to tell you that. It's left inside and behind Thielen, and it nearly gets intercepted. But we have to remember, this is only a second NFL action with these receivers, and they're still trying to get on the same page. But seeing this level of anticipation is very impressive. Moving on to this next play, we get to see Bryce Young out in space with a rollout to the left, and he's going to hit DJ Chark on this over route. Something that I really want to point out is Bryce Young's ability to flip his hips so smoothly and cleanly while moving to the left and throwing with great accuracy. This is good stuff from Young here to pick up a nice gain in the shade of his own end zone. Moving on to this next one, we see a little bit of the inaccuracy woes that popped up in Bryce Young's college tape as well, as on this one he's going to miss Adam Thielen on this out route. This is a throw that I'm sure Young wants back. Watching it from the end zone angle, I think the source of the inaccuracy is the same as the inaccuracy woes that sometimes popped up in college, and that's that he can be toesy in the pocket on his throws. Watching how he's going to throw this ball, he's going to get up on his toes rather than flat-footed with all of his cleats in the ground. Throwing from his toes creates variance in his footwork, resulting in accuracy and consistencies. Moving on to this next play, Young is going to have a three-step drop and deliver a perfect ball to Jonathan Mingo on this post over the middle of the field, but the ball's dropped. You can't really put this ball on Mingo's frame any better than Young did here, but again, it's going to fall incomplete. Bryce can't catch it for him. We have to remember, this wide receiver core that Bryce Young is playing with is everybody's castaways like Adam Thielen, DJ Chark, Hayden Hurst, and then we got rookie Jonathan Mingo in there as well. So expecting him to light up the world and light it on fire right out of the gate with this receiving core would be poor expectations for anyone to have coming into this season. It's going to take some time, and not always do good throws like this show up on the stat sheet, and we have to remember this. Moving on to this next play, we get to see Bryce Young, the runner, and this was an encouraging thing to see from him. With a lackluster supporting cast, I like to see him picking and choosing some spots to make some plays on his own using his legs, and this was a great opportunity to do just that. Young realizes that the Saints are in man-to-man, and he takes off into open space, and he just has one man to beat. He does just that, and he picks up about 20 yards on the ground with his legs. Young isn't an Anthony Richardson-level athlete, but he can certainly scoot and pick up some first downs with his legs, and I think some people forget that he can do this. Moving on to this next play, it's another great demonstration of Bryce Young's ability to throw with anticipation. Again, look when this ball is thrown to Mingo on this out route. Right here, Young separates to make this throw, and again, Mingo hasn't even entered the break yet. Great play by Young. 
This ball probably could have been thrown more towards the pylon, and it may have led Mingo more upfield, resulting in a possible touchdown, but still, this is a great play by Young nonetheless. These last two plays are pretty straightforward. The touchdown is stick with a stick-flat combination to the near side of the field. Young's going to hit Thielen on the flat route, and Thielen's going to turn up field and score. Great execution of a simple concept to get themselves on the board for the first touchdown of the game late in the fourth quarter. Last play is the two-point conversion, and Bryce Young's going to roll to the right, and he's going to find Adam Thielen again, this time outside of the structure of the offense, and converting on their two-point attempt, bringing the Panthers to within three points. The Panthers don't recover the onside kick, and this was the last play that we saw from Young in this one. In totality, yes, Bryce has certainly had a slow start to the season, especially compared to C.J. Stroud. Anthony Richardson, and then there's been some issues too, like the two interceptions versus Atlanta in week one, which I didn't have in this video, the inaccurate throws that I did get into today, but also we have to be aware that he isn't working with the most talented wide receiver group, he's still adjusting to the NFL himself, and finally, we don't know how he hurt his ankle or when it happened in this game, he could have been playing through it for the majority of this game for all that we know. I wasn't able to find a specific play in this game that I believed it to have happened on, but nonetheless, brighter days are ahead. We've seen some good from him as well. The accuracy, the anticipation, the mobility, it's all there. It's just going to take some time, and the Panthers need to add some more weapons, and players like Jonathan Mingo need to develop. But that's all I have for this one. Thanks for checking it out. If you liked it, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel to get more content just like this in the future. Uh, until next time, peace.